Hello World, bad USBs have been around for a few years now. Coming in various forms, they allow you to inject keystrokes into a target's PC. But what does, what does that really mean? Well, imagine there's a small, but clever, furry animal with a keyboard inside your bad USB. When you plug them in, this furry animal gets to work, typing out whatever you've programmed it to do, but at lightning speed. And since you can do almost anything on a PC with a keyboard, I mean, it is the primary way of interfacing with a computer, right? You can get really pretty creative with your bad USB scripts. Just a quick interruption from future me. If you're wondering about that giveaway in the title, I will be talking about that at the end of the video. So stay till the end and you'll find out all about that giveaway. Enter Wi-Fi. When you add Wi-Fi to a bad USB, things get a whole lot more interesting. As now, after plugging in the thing, you can connect to it remotely and run scripts at will from a phone, laptop, or pretty much any Wi-Fi enabled device. You can also edit scripts remotely without needing physical access to the bad USB at all. We'll get to how you can DIY your own wireless bad USB in just a moment. But first, I know what you're thinking. Satonic, what is that sleek, one of a kind, dual USB A and C device? And where can I get my very own? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is a Malduino W. It is in of itself a wireless bad USB. You can learn more over on my store, maltronics.com and get 15% off for a limited time only with discount code WOW. Find out more with a link in the description. But anyway, we can hack together a DIY version of the Malduino W. Sure, it won't have anywhere near the aesthetic value, but it will, it will be functional. The Malduino W has two processing units, an ARM Cortex-M0 and an ESP8266. The ARM chip handles the USB connection and is the chip that actually types out all of those scripts. The ESP8266, however, stores all of the scripts, handles the Wi-Fi network and the web interface. These two chips communicate using a serial interface. To DIY our own version, we will need two development boards. Here, I'm going to be using a Trinket M0 to mimic the ARM chip and a D1 Mini for the ESP8266. The Trinket is about $9 and the D1 Mini just $2, though you can easily get cheaper alternative boards, which I will of course link in the description. So you've got your boards, what now? Well, you'll need to download the zip file, which is linked in the description. This will contain everything you need to program your boards. The Trinket is really easy to program. Just plug them in via micro USB, double tap the reset button, and up pops a mass storage drive named Trinket Boot. Just drag and drop the update UF2 file to the drive, give it a second, and then he'll reappear as malw, and then just copy the other UF2 onto the malw drive. For the ESP, you'll need to use the flasher program in the zip. Just select the bin file to program, make sure your settings are the same as mine, plug them in, select the COM port and hit flash. So once both boards have been flashed, we're almost, almost, almost good to go. We just need to connect them up. So stick them both on a breadboard. Now you may need to solder on some headers here if yours didn't come pre-soldered. Though firstly, we're going to need to connect up the 3.3 volt line between them, then ground. And lastly, there's just the serial connection to connect up. You'll need to connect RX on the D1 Mini to D4 on the Trinket and TX on the D1 Mini to D3 on the Trinket. Now, at this point, we're pretty much done. Sure, it's not a very eloquent looking solution, but we'll fix that shortly. Lastly, you just need to connect up the Trinket's micro USB port to your PC. Now, whatever you do, whatever you do, do not connect the D1 Mini over USB as well, because he's being powered by the Trinket. He, he doesn't need USB. And if you plug both of them in over USB at the same time, then bad things may happen, you have been warned. Once plugged in, he will spawn his own Wi-Fi hotspot, so you can just go ahead and connect to that. In this case, we've programmed our boards with exactly the same firmware as the Malduino W, so it will perform as if it were a Malduino W. The SSID and password are exactly the same. Once connected, navigate to the control panel. Now, let's run a quick script to make sure everything's working as intended. All this will do is cycle the LED a few times and type out, hello world. Of course, on the first line, I've made sure to specify my keyboard language. So let's save that and run it. And there, there you go, it works. And in this configuration, even the RGB LED on the Trinket works without any modification at all. This setup here will run it just like the Malduino W, as remember, they're running the same code. The only other thing left to do is to fix this, this mess. It's really not all that practical to carry this thing around. You could say it's slightly cumbersome. 
So I set to work, essentially remaking the same thing, except without the breadboard. I cut some jumper wires to size and soldered those connections. And now I also put some electrical tape between the boards to prevent them from shorting out. When I was done, I put one of these micro to full size USB connections in the micro USB port. This means it can be used essentially just without a cable. And there you have it. You see, it works deliciously. And so onto that giveaway. I will be giving away two Malduino Ws to two lucky winners. That That's one for each winner, not, not two each. I will have a link in the description to where you can enter. All you need to do is sign up to the Maltronics email newsletter, find the link specifically in the description. A week from now, two winners will be selected at random. Now, I don't have millions of subscribers, so there's a pretty good chance of winning because not so many people are going to likely enter. Anyhow, if you'd like to see what goes on behind the scenes, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And with that, I shall leave you. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't done it already, that's very important. Where was I? Make sure to subscribe for more hacking videos and have a good one.